guys, I am in Pigeon Forge, <laughs> not Gatlinburg. And I think this man was just in Sevierville. So aren't you the Gatlinburg hussy? Yes, I am. And you said it the correct way, not Sevierville, yep. it's Sevierville. So if you're the Gatlinburg hussy, what are you doing in Pigeon Forge and in Sevierville? So I think a different name. You should be called what? Sevier County hussy. No. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't have that same lure, the, the slip, the, the roll off the tongue as the Gatlinburg hussy. All right, so you're gonna keep you're gonna keep what you did. <laughs> hey tell us, Sean, tell us how your channel's doing while you're here. It has been doing great, thank to you guys. Yep. I am at 2,200 subscribers, right. all right? I'm at the Skylift Park. It is America's longest suspension bridge, and I stand down at the side of the road, and I get people to come in and spend their hard-earned money to cross the bridge. And then a lot of people, they come up to me and say, hey, are you the Gatlinburg Hussey? Are you the Gatlinburg Hussey? So it's very cool. A lot of people come. I just met someone from Canada and Sweden who were fans. What? That's cool, man. That is, isn't it cool? Well, we're happy for you. Thank yeah. you You've so been much. working real hard, and man. And you guys have helped me out so much. I greatly appreciate you it. Your fans it. are fans. We need to converge and have one big, big old video of us together That's one what we day. should do sometime, man. Yes. Great running into you, even though it's Pigeon Forge, man, not Gatlinburg. Well. You're spreading your wings. I'm, You're going I'm out spreading, I'm spreading the Gatlinburg love. All right, brother. <laughs> Hey guys, today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, standing in front of the Pottery House. Yeah, I know, we just did this place, but we're coming back here for something else. Tell them, Bobby. Well, the last time after we ate our meals, we were too full, so we wanted to come back and get one of their desserts. Yeah, they look so good. So why not come back, get one? It's a beautiful day. We'll sit outside and maybe we'll take you around and show you the candy store and where they sell fudge here also so are you ready bobby i'm ready let's rock and roll let's rock and roll all right let's take a look pumpkin custard pie coconut cream peanut butter pie hot chocolate Lime. It looks amazing. So take out containers of it. Carrot cake, chocolate cake, and chocolate pecan pie. And here are the prices. Well, we have decided. I'm going with the chocolate cake. Bobby almost got the chocolate pecan pie, but she went ahead and ordered the coconut custard. And just in case you didn't see our last video from here, they make all these breads. There's your options, and there's how much they cost. Now we're going to take it outside and eat it. How big those are. Bobby, look at the size of this bread. Pick one of those up and show everybody. You see an idea by you holding it. Here is our receipt at the Pottery House. Coconut pie, $4.99. Chocolate cake, $5.99. And Bobby got a decaf coffee, $2.99. $15.47. There's your coffee over there. Decent size. Mm -hmm. Got some cream to put in it. All right, there's your chocolate cake. And I went with the coconut cream. I thought you were gonna buy the chocolate in there. Well, I already figured you have chocolate, so I'd try something. You can't have enough chocolate. Both look very appetizing. All right, Bobby, about ready to right. try that. Some of that meringue they make. Yep. So if you're a fan of coconut, try this. Very good. Um, and I've made pies before. Meringue's kind of hard to do, so they did a nice job with it. I like the crust that I had. You can see it's not overly done, because sometimes when you bake a pie, the tops, you know, can get a little darker. They did a really good job with it. One more bite. Okay. 
it's nice and cold. So if you like coconut, this is the one to get. Plenty of coconut in there. So you're glad you didn't get the chocolate pecan now? No, I think we'll just make another trip in here sometime. Yeah, because I want to try the lemonade pie. That's a seasonal item. I've never been able to get that yet. Always miss it or they're always out of it. All right, you want to try some of that coffee? Yeah, so I put two creams in there. Got the, the cap made it. $2.99. It's a nice size. That lid doesn't look No, it doesn't. Good. good cup of coffee, but it's very hot, so be careful. All right, now let's look at the chocolate cake. Mini chocolate chips. A decent amount of icing, but I would like more than that. I like a lot of icing. a lot of icing. There it is. I'm talking about down through the center. <laughs> I want it thick, guys. I want it out here about like where this fork is. Clear you want out here. icing and no cake? Icing. Let me try the cake without the icing first. Peace. A nice, moist chocolate flavor to it. Hasn't been sitting there, I don't think, real long because it's not crusty or whatever. That's the best way to describe it. I've been sitting there, it'd be a little hard. Yeah, stale. I think their desserts move fast in that restaurant. Yeah, because while we were standing there, they just kept getting in there and pulling more out. Now, there's a lot of icing on that piece. So I'm going to like You should be happy one. with that yeah, one. Yeah, and a bunch of chocolate chips. Let's try this. That was a better bite with the icing, but I'm going to go with what I first said. Look, I want my icing a little thicker than that. I think that's a little thin on top. They skimped a little bit on that. But that's an excellent cake. It was $6. We heard they had great desserts here. We can't eat them because we've always been full when we come here to eat. I'm glad we came back and got these for an afternoon, evening snack. Bobby also enjoys chocolate cake, so I want her to try this. Now she thinks that's enough icing. I think that's plenty of icing. All right. Look at all that. Guys, comments, who agrees with me? It's a very moist cake, but I think that's plenty of icing, John. Mm. I mean, that's a lot of chocolate going on there. It is, and I know once I get done eating that, I'm going to be stuffed because... Yeah, because you got the chips there, too. I know. How about trying the coconut cream? Well, you know, I like just like coconut shrimp and stuff, but I'll go ahead and try it and see what okay. I think. You just heard... I don't eat a lot of coconut. I like it on the shrimp. Bobby likes coconut pie, but doesn't care for the coconut shrimp that much. But I do like pina coladas. But I don't know much about a coconut pie. There you go. There's a lot of coconut in that pie. I guess the coconut flakes that they use or whatever that is, they mm -hmm. shred it up in there. A bunch of those in there. You can't really see them in there, but man, you can really taste them. So I guess if you liked coconut pie, you would like that. But for me, I'm gonna stick with the chocolate. Well, I said earlier, I didn't think I could finish that cake. So in the battle between cake versus man, cake won. The more I got into that, the more rich it was. Mm -hmm. So really, you didn't need any more icing, did you? I like more icing. <laughs> so if I had more icing, I would've, you know, I could've just taken it home and still had more, but. Maybe not. I mean, it beat me. So I guess the icing and the, all the little mini chocolate chips did me in. So regardless if it had enough icing in it or not, which Bobby, it's plenty. <laughs> that is a very good cake. I would get that again. Now, if that cake and pie is not enough for you, they make their ice cream here. The Old Mill Creamery. Very good ice cream. Mm -hmm, we've had it before. I see a shop over there I might go check out. It's a nice little area back here. Get you a piece of cake or pie, sit down outside. It would be hard to go in there and get a piece of cake and get a thing of ice cream. So that. take your pick. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna take you in here and show you what kind of ice creams they have. No, I'm not gonna get one. Let's take a look. How you doing? I just want to show on here what kind of ice creams you have. All right, got some strawberry cheesecake. Peppermint is sold out. Pumpkin pie, coconut, salted caramel, and pralines down there. 
caramel apple red velvet. I don't know if you can see the pumpkin pie. They got the camera pointed the wrong way. Whiskey, ribbon, and peanut butter. Vanilla bean. Coffee. There's one, something they're famous for. Oatmeal cream pie. Butter pecan. Brown butter. Black walnut. Mint chip. Banana pudding. Cookies and cream. Cookie dough. Smoky Mountain Strawberry, Cookie Monster, Chocolate, and Vanilla. Well, you know what? Just came in here. I have a lemonade slush. I am going to have to get that. I shouldn't have walked in here to show you guys this. There it is. While we're in here, let's just see what kind of desserts they have. Chocolate French Toast, Muffin, Banana Nut, and Pumpkin Bread. Chocolate chip cookies, brownies, oatmeal, cream pies, ice cream bar, and here are all the prices. Put the cakes on enough, come in here. Now Bobby is the connoisseur of the slush. See what you think of that. See how tart that is or sour. It's not as sour as you think it would be. These ones you really have to be careful with because they're more I get more pieces of ice in it. You get a brain freeze really quick with those ones. And we get a lot of brain freezes. I well, <laughs> I get a lot of brain freezes because I just can't take a little bit of that. I got to drink a big drink. And that's a that's a no-no in the uh, slush world, right? No-no. Big no-no. $4. A little drink. Mmm, man, that's good. I got to get one more. You're right. It's not too sour, not too tart. It's just right. I didn't know they had those in there. I just thought it was ice cream. Bad thing, because now when I come over in this area, I'm probably going to end up getting one of these. Just a little info about this place. This is a Tuesday night, 5-17. We're not going in here to eat. But if you were, it's over two hours to wait to get in on a weekday. Unbelievable. There's the taffy machine. Everything's been made for the day. Let's go in and see what they have. I wonder how hard it is to clean that stuff. It's just not easy. Fudge or taffy by one pound, get half pound free. The old mill candy kitchen. Well, what do you think? It smells pretty good in here, huh? Let's go take a look at some of this stuff. Dark chocolate almond bark. Chocolate gummy bears for $14 a pound. Chocolate blueberries. Chocolate orange jellies. You like raisinettes, that's what that is, huh? Milk chocolate bomb balls, double dip chocolate peanuts. Some chocolate pecans, almonds, maple peanuts, milk chocolate cashews, milk chocolate bridge mix. Just looking down below, didn't see all this up top. What do you think of all these? Pretty good. Yeah, there's your peanut caramel apples. Some plain ones. Dark chocolate bear paws. Pecan pralines, $19.99 a pound. Some different glazed cashews, almonds, and pecans. $24.99 a pound on those guys. White chocolate pecan clusters. There's Buckeyes for $19 a pound. Milk chocolate caramel pecan. Bears. Cashew clusters down in that section. There's some truffles for $99 each. Dark orange cream for $20 a pound. Some maples. Raspberry creams. Let's take a look at this fudge. Some maple walnut. Chocolate peanut butter. 
Tiger butter. Not sure what that is. Oh, there's my favorite. Guys, man. Pumpkin. Pumpkin Rayleigh. Which one looks the best to you so far? There's a Snickers one. Rocky Road, cookies and cream, and vanilla. Let's go on over. They have just stuff scattered. There's your taffy, sugar free taffy for $9.59 pound. $13.99 a pound if you want to get some of this assorted items. Mallow cups. Here's the taffy. Different flavors they have of that. Pina colada. Moonshine. Peach. Cotton candy. Buy one pound, get a half pound free, so that sign on the front. A lot of different flavors. There's bubblegum flavor. Fall flavor. Pumpkin, maple, green apple. Be hard to choose with all those flavors. I see a lunchbox you might like. I know. That caught my eye when I was going around here. I like that one. That was the old school Batman. Yep, I'd like to have that. Now, when we were kids, we always had a box of the ribbon candy at Christmas time. Did you guys? Yeah. How much is that? Is that price on it? Just curious what it's selling for. Six forty nine. Not bad. Uh huh. Smaller box. A thin peppermint. Three ninety nine. What's over here? Stick jars. Oh, I like these. What about the French burnt peanuts? Yes. You remember those, Bobby? Is that a jawbreaker? Look at that jawbreaker. How would you ever put that in your mouth? Well, you know, I think I said this a long time ago in the video. I got a lot of comments about it. I did. I did when I was a kid. I'd like I'm going to see that. say exactly what I said in that first one. It kind of gross people out. You had it's spit and slobbers coming all out of your mouth, having it in there. You couldn't shut your mouth. I don't know how you could get it in there. You can get it in there. When you're a kid, you don't even care. You can fit it in there. It doesn't fit real good. We also got Old Mill Candy Kitchen. Tiny ones. Broken sticks. Different peanut brittles, cashews. How about anything you wanted here? Well, instead of looking at us at the end of this video, let's just look at this while we end it. I hope you guys enjoyed our little trip to the pottery house to get dessert tonight. Yeah, if you ever eat there and you're too full after you eat your meal, come back another day, pick up some dessert and set outside. It was beautiful tonight. And look at this beautiful scenery you get to see. So I'm glad I got the coconut cream pot. The meringue was nice and firm. Plenty of coconut in there for me. That's not John's favorite. No. And the crust was done well. So I was pleased with it. Yeah, I was pleased with the chocolate cake. Very rich, very moist. Everything was good about it. They had a lot of other choices. I'm gonna come back and try the lemonade pie. I like that slush. I went in there to show you guys that ice cream. Didn't know they had that. And now I'm gonna to have to start going back in there again. Hope you like going into the candy store and the other things we showed you. It's a fun little evening coming out here, something small, just to enjoy the outside. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. building.